Hey guys, welcome back to Berlin's Math Club. Today's topic is subtracting fractions with different denominators. Now, this is pretty much like adding fractions with different denominators, except for the operation that we're going to be using is subtraction. So, let's say that we have a problem such as 6 ninths minus 3 fifths. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is you have to look at your denominators, which are 9 and 5, and you're going to go over here and write them, so 9 and 5, like that, and you're going to list the multiples of each until you find a common multiple. So let's start with 9. So 9 times 1 is 9, times 2 is 18, times 3 is 27, times 4 is 36, times 5 is 45, times 6 is 54, times 7 is 63, times 8 is 72, times 9 is 81, and times 10 is 90. So I'm just going to list them until 10, right? Okay, so for 5, 5 times 1 is 5, times 2 is 10, times 3 is 15, 4 is 20, 5 is 25, 6 is 30, 7 is 35, 8 is 40, 9 is 45. Now as you can see, I've stopped here because I found 9 times 5 is 45 and 5 times 9 is 45. So that's pretty much my common or my least common multiple there. What I'm going to do is come over here back to our problem and I'm going to write two denominators of 45. So 45 minus 45. So now we have common denominators except we don't have our numerators yet. Now remember this rule. Once you find a common denominator, you can't just take your original numerator which is 6 and 3 and put them here because that would change the fraction because let's say if we put 6 over here then 6 ninths and 6 over 45 are two different fractions, right? So what we're going to do is we see, we look at our um, denominators, our original denominators, and see what times 9 gave us 45 and 1 times 5 gave us 45. We know that 9 times 5 is 45 and 5 times 9 is 45. What you're going to do is apply this rule over here to the numerator. So that means 9 times 3 is 27. 6 times 5 is 30. So that's our numerators. 30 over 45 minus 27 over 45. So that's pretty much the last thing that you have to do to find your answer. You take this 30 minus 27. So 30 minus 27. You borrow the 1 from there. 10 minus 7 is 3. You, since you'd borrowed 1, that will become a 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. That means the difference between 30 minus 27 is 3. So our, co our um, difference of 30 over 45 minus 27 over 45 equals 3 over 45. Now as you can see, sorry, when I did my subtraction, I did not change the denominator because if I would have subtracted 45 minus 45, then I would have gotten a 0 and that's not really right. You keep the denominator as it is in both addition and subtraction. Only the numerator changes once you subtract or add. So that means our final difference is 3 over 45. Now, Keep one thing in mind. When you get a fraction or your um, answer, if you can simplify the answer, then always do so. So if you have 345, if you divide 3 by 3 and 45 by 3, you'll get an answer, a simplified term of 1, and 45 minus 3 is 15, so 1 15th. So either if it's 3 or 45 or 1 or 15, both of them are right answers, but we always use simplified um, terms. So 1 over 15 is the correct answer. So that's pretty much it for subtracting fractions with different denominators. Now I hope you guys got this topic. And now of course you need to practice some more. You can always visit our website. And we'll see you guys next time.